tip of the day for today. I'm sorry I've taken a small break of about two months. We've been a little bit busy with the new addition. This is Clara Nakoa Montague. Look at the camera, Clara. Hey. Look at you. Now, I would say that I've been too busy, you know, had a new baby and all that. It's difficult and been so busy that I haven't been able to do any tips of the day. It's a total lie, complete and utter lie. This has been completely easy. I've had plenty of time, all the time in the world, because I haven't been doing any workshops or anything. I just simply haven't wanted to. Because, because look how cute she is. So I've simply taken some family time, and that basically is your tip of the day. Figure out what's important in your life. When you have a little baby like this, or anything else in your life, you have a family, a sister, a brother, whatever is in your life. Tai Chi, Baba, martial arts, anything like that. You see people getting so up in arms about it, like, oh, you must do it this way, you must do it that way, and people having falling outs and battles and all this stuff, like it's so important. It's just not. You know, what is it? It's, a, it's an exercise at the end of the day. That's all it is. Yeah, isn't that right, Clara? So, yeah, at the end of the day, just figure out what's important in your life. And don't put Tai Chi above things that are more important, such as family and friendship and things like that. Anyway, I will give you one little uh, actual Tai Chi tip as well. I was doing this in somewhere, Italy, I think, the other week. And with reference to opening the hips in any postures where you've got to open the hips a lot when you're taking a step. So for example, pung to double pung. So we come into baby pung, and we move into double pung here. Right? That's quite a large hip opening. It's, it's a 90 degree foot angle. Um, now a lot of people struggle to get that right. As long as you keep your back completely vertical when you do that movement, it makes it quite difficult. If you lean forward, it makes it easy shouldn't be doing that. We should be keeping our back nice and straight when we do that posture. So, a little tip. Don't you cry. Don't you cry on camera. Eh. Eh. A little tip for you. Your left foot's pointing to the front. As you step into this next posture, you open the left hip, obviously, fully, before you try to open the right hip. So a common mistake people make is they close this hip and they're trying to move this hip or they don't try to open this hip. You've got to open both hips is the main thing. But you should already know that. The tip I'm giving you now is open the hip there. And now, instead of doing this, you know, a little jiggy as we do it. Instead of trying to open the hip whilst it's in the air, which is much more difficult, you open the hip whilst tracing the toe on the ground. That way you can keep your balance while you figure out your mobility in your own hips. So you take that first, oh come on now, come on now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Bit of plum blossoms. Yes, you like the plum blossoms, don't you? So yeah, basically, from here, just slide your foot. See that? So I'm still getting the hip to open because that's what's important here. We don't want to open the ankle. See, I'm just pointing the toe to the front now, but the knee's all buckled. You must open the hip like so in that position. I've just traced the toe on the ground, so I'm figuring out where my hip mobility is whilst not having to worry about balance at the same time. If you find that already difficult, stick with that. Because if you can't do that, you're definitely not doing the correct movement correctly with, with actually lifting the foot. So you can do that with any steps in the form, single with any, any large opening stances. Just take the, the first part of the movement and then open with a trace. Give the baby a bounce so she doesn't whinge. And then from that position, of course, you can just simply put the foot down and travel into the next move. So that's your tip of the day. Um, I'm hoping from now on I might start doing maybe a tip of the week or something. I think one every single day is too much. It's also too much for you. You're like, oh, I've got that information, that information. So I'm going to start doing probably a tip of the week thing. Um, and yeah, apart from that, I'll just be enjoying the little baby in her beautiful little advertisement, you know. Hi, 